is going on with my hair? Mm. Hello my lovelies, welcome back to Rouge Pipe Beauty and today it's going through my rubbish. Ooh, yes, it's beauty empties time. I have a bag full of empties, so let's dig in and get going. Okay, the first one for cleanser, stop laughing at the back, thank you very much. It's the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. Repurchased a lot, I love this, it's one of my favourite cleansers of all time, which is really nice when it's a high street product. Beautiful, I use it in an evening as a first or second cleanse and it just removes makeup without leaving my skin dry or in need of anything, it is just a beautiful, beautiful product. Um, I prefer it to the chamomile butter that they do for cleansing. Much, much better product and it is for all skin types. Another cleanser. I always do it, don't I? It's from Soap and Glory. I've never used this before. It is the Ulti Melt and I think you can tell that I really liked this product. I will cut it in half. But this has been a revelation. I don't know why I didn't get it before. I just sort of avoided it and thought, mm, I like Soap and Glory Beauty makeup products, but I've never quite got into their skincare. But this has been fantastic. Again, for all skin types, it comes with a great cloth that doesn't shrink to the size of a stamp when you wash it. And I loved it. It's a great first and second cleanse, removes makeup. When you take it off, it doesn't leave that sort of waterproof greasy feeling on the face just a beautiful cleanser it doesn't dry my skin really loved it and i would certainly buy another one um a repurchased item this is sunday riley good jeans and it is a corrective product brightening refining and plumping um it certainly brightened my skin and altered the texture of my skin I wouldn't say it's plumped it, um, I think that would be an impossible thing to ask. But I can see the textures improved. I absolutely love this product. I use it every day. Um, yeah, and I've repurchased it two or maybe three times. Superb, I wouldn't be without it. Really suits my skin at the moment. This was in Glossy Box. Um, I can't remember which one. And it's the Naobay, Naobay. Um, natural and organic calming face toner. This is more an old-fashioned type toner in the days when people used a cleansing milk and then you'd use the toner to make sure everything was off. It reminded me of that. Very nice. It smelt beautiful. My skin was quite happy when I used it. It's a fabulous size product, 200ml. Love the packaging. It was really nice. Um, would I buy it again? Actually, no. For no other reason, because it's really good, no other reason than I really like my Pixie Glow Tonic. Um, I like an exfoliating toner, so it doesn't really sort of fit in, but I did use it. I enjoyed using it. If you're just starting out with skincare, you just want something very gentle and organic, it might be worth looking at this brand. Next, it was a hair sample from Phyto and it's a colour treated highlighted hair shampoo. Love this. I love their packaging. I've said that before. Gorgeous citrus smell and my hair always likes it when I mix up my hair products. So when I put a different shampoo and conditioner together, really liked it. It didn't strip my hair of colour. It gave it the vibrancy of colour lovely product and I do like Phyto. I only ever seem to use them when I get samples but what I've used I've liked. Um, this was in, I think it was a glossy box or was it from Feel Fantastic? Do you know I can't remember or it could have been a freebie from a magazine. Sorry, I think it could have been a freebie from a magazine. It's the Balance Me Pure Skin Face Wash for normal to combination skin. And it's 98.8% natural. Um, I'm always a bit funny about face washes. I don't know why. I think from the years of those horrible foaming face washes that I used to use before I, well educated myself and realized that they really didn't help my oily skin so when it says face wash i'm a bit mm. but this was just lovely i really really liked it it kind of stopped my fear 
of face washes. Beautiful product, very lightweight. I used it in a morning in my routine and it was just beautiful. I had no problems with my skin at all. Really nice product and it's sulfate free and it doesn't have parabens or petroleum or mineral oils or silicones or propylene glycol. There's no artificial fragrances or colours. Really, really good option. And yeah, I probably would look at getting this again just for the ease in the morning. I really liked it. Ah, this, this has finally got me out of that rut of loathing eye care products and you'll have heard me rant about eye care products and um, probably I have dipped in and out of eye serums, eye creams, eye lotions, eye potions for the last 30 odd years and basically probably about 15 years ago I just thought sod it, stopped using them and I just take my products all over, you know bite me but I do um whether it's right or wrong I've never seen an adverse reaction from doing it but this I just spotted it in boots and thought okay never heard of the brand but I'll give it a try and it's hyalamide and it's the advanced serum for eyes and it was an absolute revelation because the problem I've always had any eye products I've applied have dried my eye area especially here my eyes just haven't got on with it, it hasn't improved my eye area at all and it just felt like a complete waste of money. This gave me my love back, it was fantastic, I've had no drying, my eye area certainly looked better in time from using this, it wasn't immediate but gradually I could see it was becoming a little bit lighter, I do have dark circles, they're not going to go completely, I know that, but this certainly brightened the area, it hydrated it, my eyes looked a lot better for using it. It is absolutely down to the, there's nothing left, I have scraped every last ounce of this product, Yes, it's a repurchase, I have another bottle. Really impressed with the Hylamide range. I have their photography foundation currently and that's impressed me as well. So, thumbs up for Hylamide. It's so great to find something that actually works. Brilliant. Um, this was a Makeup Academy, um, I think it's quite new actually. It's their Hydro Foundation, Skin Define. Um, I got this didn't like it not me at all um so lightweight it says it's lightweight it is so lightweight that I just couldn't actually visibly see it on my face and I layered it I applied layer after layer after layer and nothing it's just watery it's almost as though it evaporates as soon as you take it out of the tube just didn't do anything for me. I couldn't even use it as a corrector or a concealer because there was no substance to it. But this, for me, the Hydro Foundation just didn't work at all. Another cleanser. This is a massive treat cleanser and I use this as sort of a birthday present to my skin, generally once a month. And it's Amanda Lacey's cleanser. Gorgeous ceramic pot. Oh, it is just... Oh, I just breathe that in and uh, relaxing. It is a beautiful cleanser. Think Emma Hardy, but with magic fairy dust. I know, that's the best I can do. I love it. Just a beautiful cleanser. As I say, it is a super treat for my skin and it generally lasts me about a year because I use it so infrequently. It's not that it's not good, it is good, but it's also not the cheapest cleanser out there. But my skin just looks so much healthier and brighter. And when I work this in, I think because I love it so much and the smell of it, it just adds to the whole experience. A stunning, stunning cleanser. Um, this was super popular. It's the Body Shop Vitamin C Daily Moisturiser. Absolutely loved this. I bought it on a whim. Sometimes whims are good things. This was an awesome moisturiser. I have repurchased it. An SPF of 30, what more can you ask? It hydrated my skin. It left a lovely glow. Fantastic base for all makeup. Just a beautiful product. Um, it's the end of the line for the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. Love this. Super, super foundation. I think this was probably a four, five, six 
repurchase bottle. I do feel that there are so many more out there now and this was sort of the one that everybody fell back on. Me too. As I was coming to the end of it, I felt it was sort of losing its appeal, probably boredom. When you use a product a lot, I think the novelty wears off. Um, really loved it. I wouldn't say I wouldn't go out and get it again, but for the time being, I have got plenty of foundations to be using. But it's been a good one. Bourjois Healthy Mix. I love this so much. It's the Niels Yard Remedies Frankincense Hydrating Facial Mist for all skin types. And I really get into using it and then all of a sudden it's gone. I seem to use it really, really quickly, which is really annoying. Um, it's a fair size. Maybe I'm a bit heavy handed with it, but I seem to have gone through this super quick. Um, I love it. I love their apothecary bottles. I do save them. Um, I take the labels off take the lid out and I sometimes put flowers in or I just display them around in my kitchen. I absolutely adore this. Um, beautiful product, I love the smell of it, my skin likes the feel of this. Um, it isn't one I would use over my makeup, I have done before, but I do find it sort of a heavier weight than say Cerazinc or Cordially, but gorgeous and without a doubt I'd repurchase this. I'd re um, an empty concealer, this is uh, Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer hello um yeah it's one of the best it's great it's a great price it does the job it doesn't crease under the eyes it's quite flattering there's a good choice of colors and i already have another one that i'm using yeah it's a repurchase without even thinking about it um last one color item and it's from benefit the roller lash mascara it came out with a flashbang wallop it was all over the internet and it has quite a following um so many people love it it's okay um i can't say i'm massively impressed with it not my kind of wand yes it did work through the lashes and separate but there are so many more out there that do the same without the price tag I've used it, it's just about drying up, but I wouldn't repurchase this, it just wasn't for me. And that, my lovelies, that's the empties. Empty. I have an empty bag to start with again. I hope you enjoyed the video. Will there ever be a video without cleansers? I just cannot imagine. I cannot imagine a video where there isn't a cleanser lurking somewhere. I look forward to your questions, do ask, and I will endeavour to answer or try and help you get the answer if I don't know myself. Um, take care and I will be back with another video very, very soon.